The Artemis 1 rocket is well on its way to the moon after launching from Cape Canaveral overnight. I want to show you a new video from Orion, the spacecraft on top of the rocket. All right, see that ball in the middle? That's planet Earth. James Spavero from our Spavero, that is from our sister station Orlando, showing us the historic takeoff and the timeline for this mission. Jubilation as NASA's most powerful rocket finally gets off the ground. After several years of expensive delays, including the last eight months going back and forth between rollouts and rollbacks, the Space Launch System now going to the moon for the first mission under the Artemis program. On behalf of all the men and women across our great nation who have worked to make this day possible, and for the Artemis generation, this is for you. Unlike the two previous launch attempts this year, NASA was able to solve problems during the countdown with enough time to avoid another scrub. My heart was pumping. Three technicians risking their lives as members of the Red Crew performing live repairs at the launch pad, fixing a leak as the 322-foot SLS was fueled with hundreds of thousands of gallons of highly explosive propellants. The rockets, you know, it's alive, it's creaking, it's making venting noises, it's, it's pretty scary. SLS propelling the Orion capsule on its path to orbit the moon. Cameras showing Earth and the mannequins on board. NASA says the 26-day mission that will blaze the trail for astronauts flying on SLS and later astronauts landing on the moon is going as planned so far. As we now explore the heavens, as we go back to the moon, and then we go to Mars. After its journey of more than a million miles, NASA says Orion is expected to splash down in the Pacific Ocean on December 11th. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero. I watched at Volano Beach where we only caught a glimpse at liftoff, but there are some incredible images of the launch overnight. We posted them in a slideshow on our website. You look for this story on our homepage, news4jax.com.